Good evening. My name is Glenn Ford Robinson, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of How to Become Wealthy. Okay, today we will be talking about the hottest or the hottest career path, the hottest job on the market right now, and that job is laboratory medicine. You hear in the news all the time, uh, people can't find jobs. But this particular field right here needs people desperately. And when you graduate, you become a, a, a clinical laboratory scientist. You be a scientist. All right, so let me talk about this uh, field a little bit. It's uh, working in the lab. Um, helping the doctor diagnose patients and stuff like that. Um, without the lab, you won't be able to, uh, the doctor won't be able to um, diagnose the patient, won't be able to, uh, to give the patient the appropriate medication. Um, a lot of people really don't know about the lab because the lab is behind the scenes. You know, everyone who goes to the hospital, they meet the doctor or they meet the nurse or they may meet the people who draw the blood but the actual the people who actually run the test on the blood nobody sees those people those are the clinical laboratory scientists behind the scene the forensic people all right and also with the clinical laboratory scientists you could either after you graduate from college you could either go into forensics or you could uh, work in the hospital setting or you could work uh, at a national lab um, and so forth. So you have many, many options when you graduate as a clinical laboratory scientist. All right. And let me tell you why this field is so wide open. The first, many older people are retiring. The average age for a laboratory, clinical laboratory scientists are uh, laboratory or a medical lab technologist is late 40s to 50s you know late 40s to early 50s this it's it's a real problem so it's, it's, I don't know if it's a worldwide problem but it's a nationwide problem yes here in the United States it's very very difficult for for employers or laboratories to, to, to find qualified medical laboratory scientists or clinical laboratory scientists and again I mentioned the reason why uh, the clinical laboratory uh, field is having such a difficult time hiring qualified people is because it's behind the scenes nobody really sees uh, the clinical laboratory scientists in, a in action People, when patients go to the doctor, they either see the nurse first or see the doctor and, and, and the person would draw their blood if they needed blood work. So that's another reason why it's so uh, wide open, that the career field is so wide open. Um, the, other, the, the last reason why the clinical laboratory scientists needs, uh, it, they have a, a, sh a staff shortage in the, in the clinical laboratory scientist program is because um, uh, many schools, many clinical laboratory scientist schools have closed and I think probably they're going to be start opening up pretty soon because it, 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 it's so, the situation is so, is so dire, it's, it's really really bad. Um, so the fact that more, uh, the fact that all these schools have closed, you have less students in the workforce so with having less students in the workforce and in the workforce and having um, um, a lot of people retiring it's it's like a, it's like a bottleneck effect it's like a squeezing effect it's like you're losing but you're not getting fast enough and so any uh, high school seniors out there are any uh, Anyone that's uh, like a college freshman or a sophomore or a junior who hasn't really made up his or her mind as to what uh, field to go into, I'm telling you the clinical laboratory scientist field is a no-brainer. 
And also, if you're planning on going to medical school, or pharmacy school, or PA school, or nurse practitioner school, or any one of those schools, the clinical laboratory scientist uh, program, sciences program, is a very, very good place to start because it gave it gives you the basis of what you need in terms of providing care uh, to patients. It's just medicine right here. It medicine starts right here in the lab, you know. So I don't want to go too long, but and also also when you graduate, you. You could call yourself a scientist, get a license, a state license, um, and you get a lot of respect, a lot of respect, because when you, somebody asks you, what are you, uh, what kind of job do you do, you just say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a scientist, you know, I'm a clinical laboratory scientist, I, uh, I provide, uh, help, assist in the diagnosis, uh, in the diagnosing of patients, you know, yeah, the, the patient cannot be diagnosed without the diligent work of the clinical laboratory scientist. So I'm, I'm going to cut it short right here, but this is really something uh, for anyone who's looking towards getting out of college or graduating out of high school and want to have a, a, a good career to get into. The clinical laboratory scientist, again, is the best way to go and again my name is Glenn Ford Robinson and thank you for listening to another episode of how to become wealthy this is another way of becoming wealthy because with with the fact that or the fact that you don't have a lot of staffing there's a lot of opportunity for overtime and you can make well over a hundred thousand dollars uh, working overtime in addition to your regular, your regular uh, schedule, your regular shift, or your regular time. All right, all right. Bye bye. My name is Glenn Ford Robinson, and I'm signing off.